Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today we are starting an oil to gas conversion and the end result will be the Bosch trifecta. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduced the Bosch trifecta hashtag last week. Today we're continuing that. Today we're going to install the Bosch Green Therm T9900-199SE as the tankless condensing water heater for this property that we're going to in Oceanside. It's going to be epic. Really, really sweet job. We're putting in the Bosch 96 percenter gas-fired furnace, the evaporator coil, and because of, listen, there's such thing as cold money and we ain't all made of it, at a later date, we're going to put in the heat pump condenser. So stick around, smash that thumbs up button, and let's get going! First, last Friday... I gave away a bunch of shirts and I realized that maybe I had some more left in the shop and I do. I got a bunch of mediums. These are the original pipe doctor, right? These are all long sleeve, all right? So I got a, maybe about 10 mediums left. I got, I don't know, about eight or nine larges left and only three, no, two, two extra large. Ladies and gentlemen, no course to obligation. If you want a free Pipe Doctor long sleeve t-shirt, and by the way, these long sleeve t-shirts, they're very comfortable. They're very, very comfortable. I, I'm, I kid you not, they'll keep you nice and warm in the winter, and you'll be proudly representing Mikey Pipes and Pipe Doctor. So email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. And if you're so inclined, you want to contribute towards the postage fund, there's... Description, you know, down in the description box, you know, I take Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, PayPal, if you're so inclined to donate to the Postage Fund. But ladies and gentlemen, there's absolutely no course or obligation. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Mike. How are you, Mike? Dave. Dave, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Is it okay I parked here? Yeah, yeah. I took the cars off the driveway. Oh, perfect. I figured that way it'd be easier for you guys to get in there. We got a little... What are you doing? Oh, you're draining already? Yeah. Just, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you're the man. <laughs> I got your email. Yeah. I got to call them at 8 when they open up Okay. Uh, for the coil. Okay. I'm thinking we make just... Oh, yeah. What is this? That's returning. Uh, all right. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll fit there. I don't think it's going to. Hmm. <clears throat> we could make it fit if we build out the wall even with this. But we'll see how it is. I think it's going to fit there. Okay. I got maybe a little distracted because I think you had the, uh, had the, the dog cage. We just the crates. Those. Yep. Okay. Do you know the specs of it? What size the... Uh, yeah, I think it'll fit there. So but... I was measuring it. Grab a tape measure, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got Daniel coming right now. All right. <laughs> what kind of height we have? I got 35. Yeah, no. 34. Then we have exhaust coming out of it. Let's see what we're trying all the way across. Yeah. Yeah, it comes from my son's room and catches okay. there and catches from the. Uh, let's uh, room let's grab the the, the heater mm -hmm. and we'll set it up here in the laundry room. Okay. Cool. cool. Oil fire furnace in person. Really? Yeah. First time for everything. So we have this thermal flow oil fired water heater that's coming out. We're gonna get rid of those T's up there there and there because you don't want to keep tees you know abandoned not good so we're going to cut out those tees and we're going to mount the water heater over there and peter's working on the flu we'll manhandle it all right power pulled and we opened up some of the ceiling here because we wanted to uh cut these tees out but take a look at this ladies and gentlemen Look at this. See the charring right there? See all that charring right there? Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy. Literally a fire hazard right there. Unbelievable. What? No, the electrical. The, the BX, you know, the armored cable was touching the half-inch copper domestic water line. And... Looks like something went on fire there before. Unless they were 
No, I can't say, can't blame it on the soldering, but wow. We're gonna trace this back out. I'm gonna trace this out and cut that back and restore that. All right, so power came in on this, and then it split to go to the furnace. And then this line here, this is the line that was all corroded. And it looked like maybe there's some sparking action on there. We'll eliminate this. We'll put the box back here. And we'll bring a line over for an outlet for the Bosch. I'm gonna frame out this wall a little bit. My torpedo right there. And I know where my studs are. There's one right here. What the hell? Did you get it all on camera? Yeah. Uncut, unedited. Still level, perfect. And that, that ain't going anywhere. So there's one there. Now let's see if we need another one. Yes, we do. I'm gonna build this out a little bit, like that. Let's get this bad boy. I'm like happier than a spring chicken with this nailer. You know what, I got a piece of plywood. There's a piece of plywood in the back of my truck. Put those down, we don't need them anymore. Okay, good. Put that way, Yeah. yeah. Me and Peter had a tough time getting ours on the bracket. Why? I don't know. It's like... It just doesn't catch. It's yeah, it, it has to be perfect. Beautiful, sexy machine. It's tits. Down. Nope, you're on the wood. Down. Over to me. No. Hang on, No. No, you gotta go over more towards you because look at your bracket there. On the me. Right there. There you go. That's in. See? Beautiful. A beautiful Bosch. She's so nice and pretty. Okay, let's get the, maybe uh, maybe get the ramp set and we'll shoot a couple nails in there. What do you think? Yeah, good All stuff. right. Still cutting that piece of copper? I cut it and it ended up being a little too short. <laughs> you didn't have to, okay, it's fine. Cause it's just going right there. So we, yeah, make sure you deburr that, all right? Yeah, it's fine, because look, look, Peter, look. Okay. So we increased the piping to three quarter. We have a three quarter by half inch Vega T here. We're gonna put a, a three quarter inch full T here for the cold water domestic inlet. And we're gonna go to the half inch, which is going to look, looks like a shower. Yeah, there's the <laughs> Home Depot special right there uh, with tons of like whatever cocky on that. But there's our cold, here's our hot. So shower will have increased volume, not much, but you can also take that out. I'm seeing this, eyeball it. Make sure you're not too low. Yeah, well, this wasn't in all the way. In the okay, very good. What is that, two inch in all the way? Yeah. Perfect tits. So we're gonna drill a hole with a pilot bit for our exhaust. Nice. 
Let's go see outside. There he is. Perfect. <laughs> so now we're going to use our uh, our opener. I call it the opener, the spider. The spider bit, and we're going to make our penetration hole there for the two-inch exhaust. And I think at the end of the day, it's really going to look nice. We're going to snorkel up to, um, 12 inches and then put a, uh, a T up here. And then we're going to come out with our fresh air intake and put a 45 on there. And then the furnace will have the same configuration. We'll go up 12 inches and same thing with the fresh air uh, inlet. But today is just part one of the Bosch trifecta. Ladies and gentlemen, hashtag right now, tri Bosch trifecta. That's B-O-S. C-H-T-R-I-F-E-C-T-A. Do it now. What's the matter? Like level one. You don't like level one? Level 14. I feel like playing three fight. Look at that. Look at that. That's sweet. Okay. And I covered the inlet just so I don't get any dust on there. Now, Peter is going to take the Milwaukee M18 Force Logic, and he's going to press in that half-inch sides of the, of the coupling, and then there. And then we're going to come across with a T. But for now, let's just go follow Daniel. Did you find what you needed, Mike? No. I need a one by three quarter. Then we have to go get it, then. What does he need? One by three quarter black reducer. Oh, possible. Don't leave you drill in the rain. I didn't. Okay. Okay. It's um, it's on the left side. All right. Let's go. I might. I might have one that's galvanized, probably. Yeah. There's your hole. All right. Daniel's gonna put it in reverse. can't pronounce that. I had a problem saying aluminum. 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 Uh, and push. Yeah, I was in uh Oh, is it asbestos? No, is there? Yep. <laughs> it sure is. Oh my god. No, don't say that. It's a dirty word. Concrete. Concrete. Okay. Put it in hammer mode. Maybe you'll chop through it. Does it? Mike's favorite move. Mike's favorite move. You gotta wiggle it just a little bit. Let me see you wiggle it. Just a little bit. Daniel! Yeah? How's your hole? It's good. Family. <laughs> How's your hole? See, look at that. A plumbing company that actually deburs the pipe. <laughs> Who would have thought of such a concept? <laughs> Deburring the pipe. Oh. By the way, we're only doing that just for the YouTube. I used to be, uh, Do you really? Yeah, oh, you're, you're such a good boy. You're like Stoli. He's a good boy. Meanwhile, he eats all my sneakers. He I've, I've watched so a YouTube cool. video yeah. of like... What happens if yeah. you don't? Yeah. 50 years from now? I feel like it doesn't matter with refrigeration that much, though. Did you watch the YouTube video about leaving teas, abandoned teas in place? And what happens? Inside what the piping? Does it like... Like, it, like it's like crazy and stuff. It's like a tsunami. It's like not burning. <laughs> what? It's like not tea burning. Yeah. Okay. Stick that in there. Okay. See? Making that look... <sighs> we need to put a valve in though. Oh. Oh, fudge. Poor, poor Christian. He's pipe doctor and nun now. Air Force none. What do we got? Do you want to change something? I put the valve oh, here. Yes. It looks like this might be too short. Correct. That's what we'll do. Okay, and then we'll throw in a little. Uh, we'll throw in a little Street 45 here, and connect that, and that'll be tits. Okay. Very nice. Now we just need a uh, half inch coupling here. A little piece of half-inch copper okay. to connect the 
uh, fitting reducer, the three quarter by half inch and the half inch street 45. Put a coupling there, a little piece of copper, and we'll reconnect uh, the tub shower. It's probably tub there. I don't see a trip lever up there, but I'm guessing that's, this is inch and a, inch and a half, so it's definitely a tub. Tubs are inch and a half here and showers are two inch. Is it actually noticeable? Like if, if you walked into a house and used their faucet and they only had half inch water lines. Depends on how small the house is. You know, one bathroom, one kitchen, you know, no laundry room. Yeah, look, you know what? You should look it up. I'm gonna give you the code book. All right. All right, it's called uh, DHWs. I'm pretty sure they're called DHWs. Because now that I'm taking, you know, the South Carolina Master Plumbers uh, exam, I'm learning, relearning the stuff that I long forgot about. But they're called DHW units, or I forgot what they're called, but something units. D Mike, what is it called? Yeah, you know, you know the, the formula, the charts, uh, DHW chart, the plumbing charts when you're sizing a, a, a structure for water pipe sizing. Oh. DH something units. I'm pretty sure the DH units. DH, Peter's, uh, Daniel's going to look it up. Try, do plumbing DHW, DHW, see what happens. Oh, you're getting bombarded with nonsense. Mm, it just says domestic hot water or domestic hot water. No, sorry. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get your answer in the comments section down below. DHW codes? No, oh. DH, no, not DHW, DH, DHU, sorry. DHUs. Have, have I been saying DHWs? Yes. No, it's always DHUs. DHUs. I'm almost positive it's DHUs. Direct happy uninstall software. <laughs> I figured it out. I, you know, I was trying to make it has to make sense. You know, like a ball cock makes sense, right? It's a cock that's a ball. A silk cock, same thing, right? So you have to think like think like plumbers. So it's DFUs. Domestic fixture units. That's what it's called. You see? Device you thought... firmware update. <laughs> Device firmware update. No. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, drainage. Sorry. Drainage. Yeah. Drainage fixture oh, unit. FU and DFU. Yeah. Fixture unit and DFU. So FU, FU, and DFU. The DFU is the, is the unit of measure based on the exchange, sorry, the rate of discharge, time of operation, and frequency of use of a fixture. That expresses the hydraulic load imposed by that fixture on the sanitary plumbing installation. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mikey Effin Pipes. No, go like that again. You need to show the people. Oh. Now try it. They've been fighting with this. <laughs> the brothers, right? I just got here. Don't blame me. <laughs> you say it's not doing anything, right? Push now it, try it. See the light? Go to the solid? Yeah. If that little pin... It's not fully inserted. It's not going to do anything. It's going to act like you're like, hey, I'm not happy. Make me happy. It's like uh, like my wife. If she's not happy, I'm not happy. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you're asking the divorce guy. I know, <laughs> but you're happy. <laughs> all right. We're all done there? Yes. Okay. Well, Next. I got your measurement. No? What you say? What's left? Hot. Yeah, well, the cold is done, right? Yeah. All done, all nice. The only thing is I was a little bit off with that, but it looks nice like that. See? It was meant to be. That way. It was meant to be. All right. So we're going to make this even better. We're going to come up. We're going to duplicate this. Same exact setup with the valve. Even if it's a little bit cocked like that, so it matches. <laughs> and then leave me the F alone. Okay? So let's. where is this going? Oh, we cut it all out, didn't we? All right, so let's get a coupling here. Let's come across in half inch to right, uh, right somewhere here, and then we'll run some three quarter to here. Okay, perfect. All right, Peter is just about ready to install the drip leg on the Bosch. The beautiful Bosch. Now, let's talk about code for drip legs. Number one, right? You cannot trap the discharge line. You cannot reduce the size of the discharge line. And it has to be X amount minimum 
and maximum off the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, define X in the comment section down below. All right? And we're going to use the International me uh, me uh, Plumbing Code. Actually, no, no, International me Mechanical Code for the answer. All right? And we'll probably live stream this. Peter, what's your, what's your, what's your distance from the bottom of the drip leg to the floor? Can we say it? Yeah, what is, well, what's your distance right now? Six inches. Six inches. Okay. Very good. So you're going to fix that drip leg onto the relief valve which is right there. And looks like Daniel is now working on the fresh air intake off the top of the Bosch. The other mic is working on the gas. As you can see, we have a three, uh, one by three quarter T here. This one inch, which is literally like four feet, is gonna be picking up the three quarter for the water heater, and then we're gonna have half inch for the furnace. What was that? Is that needed to be one inch even though it's that sort of a distance? That's a great question. So where's your iPad? Because I'm gonna show you the international fuel gas code pipe sizing chart for half inch, a half PSI, a rigid pipe. Go get it. If you correctly guess the first one to correctly guess the code for the drip leg, I am gonna send a flex fit pipe doctor hat to you. How's that? See how I take care of you? I love you. You love me. No. All problem. right, so there is the natural gas pipe sizing chart. Now, you know how, to, you know how this works? No. Okay. Now, I just took the HVAC exam in South Carolina and it was, 80 questions, I believe, 80 questions, and a good six of them, six of the questions were on this chart right here, and variations of the chart. They, they had copper pipe, they had uh, the corrugated stainless steel tubing pipe. So here it is, we have, I'll help you with it, we have the length of pipe in, uh, the, um, sorry, the, the size of the pipe in inches, and we have the length of pipe in feet, right? And then here are all the BTUs. So, for example, this water heater is 199,000 BTUs, right? 199, because it's a Bosch T99ISE199. Our furnace is 80,000 BTUs. So what is 200 plus 80,000? 280,000. 280,000. Now, if we factor in the piping length from here to there, what do we have in feet? This looks like you have about four feet. You can have another five. You have 10 feet of pipe, okay. right? So the first one is length of feet of, of pipe is 10 feet. And then we have to go over to the right size. Now we had how many? 280. 280. So what size pipe are we going to need? If we have 280,000 BTUs? One inch. We're going to need one inch. See? There's your answer. Wow. Right? And if we had to say we had 20 feet, let's say we had 11 feet of pipe. How many, what size pipe do we need? If we had 20, let's say we had 11 feet of pipe. Whoa, well, 20 feet. Let's say we had 11 feet of pipe. Yeah, but it'd be 20, right? Yeah, that's correct. So 280. And so we would still be perfect with one inch. Even better so because it, it's 199. Then why, why isn't the meter one inch? That is a great question. But, and here is your high pressure line coming in. There is your regulator. And the meter is rated for 250. So we are going to, you know, one of the part of the process, we're going to have to upgrade the meter. So National Grid is going to, when the time comes, they're going to upgrade this meter to the next size up to 400 class. Because the most amount of BTUs that this thing's going to register is 250. That means it's, it's, if you use more than 250 on this meter, you're only paying for 250. You're only paying for 250. So why not do that? <laughs> well, because it's, it's being inspected as an oil to gas conversion. And uh -huh. part of the, the final inspection will be to see the meter being upgraded. I mean, he may want to prolong that as long as possible because at the end of the day, it's to ensure that if all of the appliances are running at the same time, that you're being, that the meter can withstand that, right? And yes, look at this. You have half inch there, right? To, three, to uh, the three quarter uh, offsets, the swivels, right? So, all right, hang that meter, hang that meter, hang that uh, ST12 uh, domestic thermal expansion tank. That piece is cool. 
Last piece with like the pre-made sour. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one by, that's the, that's the three quarter uh, press by female tea. Pretty nice, right? We just cleaned this up. That's the existing expansion tank. We're keeping it there. It's good. Mike is, needs help. <laughs> All right. Getting it done. All right. A little before 1030. Initial start up. Temporarily, that's how it is. We come back to put the furnace and drop the evaporator coil. We're going to bring down some new half-inch conduit. And you'll see it in the video. There we go. That's nice. 120. It does look nice. All right. Settings. Okay. Please wait. Clock. What time is it? 1027. 1027. Yeah. 1027. Damn, racing the clock. I'm on, Bosch. 1028. Okay. Date. Today is September 6th. September 6th, 2022. There it is. All right. Let's do Wi Fi. Status. Scan. Let's scan for Wi Fi networks. Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. Are you serious? I gotta enter in. Every second. I gotta enter in. Spear 7 dash doll dash axe. Like that. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Bosh? What's up with that? <laughs> well, maybe there's an app. I doubt it. No, maybe there's an app. Where's the manual? Doll. <laughs> LL. Yep. Yeah. Dash. <laughs> you know it's gonna. You know it's gonna suck if that it says like does not error. compute error. <laughs> Did not connect right again. Like no, I'm not. I'm not doing it. No pressure, but we'll, we'll get this live. One more. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's 3.30 in the afternoon now. We've only been working on this for for five hours, trying to connect to Wi-Fi. It ends an axe? It, yeah. Is it end or? Like an yeah, axe, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, we connected the first attempt. Wow, awesome. All right, we're running. We're connected to Wi-Fi. We're nice. Okay, we're just gonna temporarily put a bucket there underneath. That, the Sani flow. Sorry, the Sani condensed best. We're gonna use that for the condensate removal and neutralizing that we need for the uh, furnace and the condensing water heater. And we are adding the evaporator, so we'll tie in that as well to the condensate pump. And at a later time, he'll get his, um, He'll get his outdoor condenser, you know, and then we'll complete the trifecta. But I call it the trifecta because we're going to have the, we have the tankless water heater. We'll have the Bosch furnace and the Bosch evaporator coil. That is a trifecta. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful machine. Beautiful, beautiful machine. I just, again, this is just for today, you know, until we come back with the furnace, but... It is 1041. Shut up, Siri. And we have hot water. Let me show you outside. Here is outside. We're going to cut this back later. We're going to put a 45 here. We're going to put two screens in there and one in there. And oh, these freaking guys. Peter, come on, Peter. But we have good separation there. And we're going to be next to it with the other system for the furnace, the intake, and the exhaust. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for, for tuning in to today's episode, part one, the Bosch Trifecta oil to gas conversion. It is 10.52 in the morning. 
So that job took less than three hours to do. And granted, yes, all hands were on deck. I thought maybe, just maybe, there'd be a miracle. And I would also be able to, oh shit, there's bumps here. I thought also that I would be able to um, get the furnace and evaporator coil set today, but the evaporator coil, no bueno, it's not available. Um, so a little bit of background with that. I had given this customer a proposal uh, for a tank style AO Smith 50 gallon gas fired water heater, direct vent, by the way. I had given him a proposal for the Bosch, the T9900i SC199. I had given him a proposal on the Bosch 96, 97% uh, 80,000 BTU gas furnace. And then I gave him an option, listen, if you want to add air conditioning, here is the evaporator with the IDS 2.0 uh, heat pump condenser as a separate light item. So he originally approved the tankless and the furnace, and he goes, listen, Mike, I can't really, not going to swing the uh, the air conditioning components of it right now, so let's hold off on that. I was like, all right, no problem. But then he, over the weekend, Labor Day weekend, he emailed me, he's like, Mike, is it too late? Can we add the evaporator? I said, no, it's never too late, but it's easier if I could drop the evaporator um, while I drop and install the furnace, that way I don't have to fabricate two pieces, you know, redo it again. So we're holding off on that. I thought just by a miracle that the evaporator would be locally available, but uh, it wasn't. So we're getting that on Thursday or Friday and it will be all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind, please smash that thumbs up button. I really, really appreciate it. And I'd like it. to ask you that if you, uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos on this channel, uh, just take a moment to just hit that, that uh, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, Mikey Pice, Pipe Doctor Plumbing, Heating and Cooling. Um, you know, it, the more engagement that I get from the community, the more, um, the more it helps me, you know, just building, you know, the, this channel and it helps me just to, uh, uh, just motivates me. You know, when I get a, th you know, if I get a thousand likes on a video and, uh, and another video I get, you know, 1500 likes or 2000 likes, you know, I look at, what, what what was different between the two? So if I get, you know, a crazy amount of likes on this video, um, it, you know, I, I actually process, I use that data and I process, you know, okay, let's let's do this on future videos, right? So like I said, if, if, if you have, you, you may have watched a few of my videos and never even subscribed, never hit the thumbs up button, but if you like it, smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button like you're making mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving day. You know what I'm talking about. Um... And you may not even know that you haven't even subscribed yet, right? So hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit that notification bell, right? Because you're going to get notified, you know, uh, by YouTube when, um, in order to stay up to date, because I try to drop a new video, some more content almost on a daily basis, right? So hit that notification bell and you're going to get notified. And again, there's no cost or obligation, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and notification bell and do it now because when we have 50,000 subscribers which is not so far away Mikey Pipes that's me aka Saint Mike I am going to host the most epic YouTube pool party for the subscribers for the community and listen everyone's not going to be able to come Right, they're gonna be they're gonna be an A list and a B list and a C list. So some people are gonna get cut, right? But trust me, it's gonna be epic and it's gonna be at a warm locale. There's gonna be all types of of beverages, right? And food, nourishment, sustenance, right? And maybe we'll even have a nice epic corporate sponsor. That would be nice, right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to head back to the shop. We're going to dump all the garbage. I'm going to get some lunch, and then I'm going to go uh, to my home office and uh, do some paperwork. I got to deal some things with Carrier down at uh, Mid-Atlantic Territory. Set that up for the, uh, the venture down south. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, wow, this is going to be epic. Tomorrow, uh, the entire team, right, that's all of us at Pipe Doctor. Except the wife, right? Someone needs to man the phones. All right, we're actually going to Ferguson where they're going to have a steam class, a steam heating class with a live fire Whale McLean steam boiler 
with the gas with the glass piping. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. So I'm gonna make sure I get plenty of content on that. So I'm gonna have me, we're gonna have the other mic, we're gonna have Peter, we're gonna have Daniel, and as a special guest appearance, no, it's not Mike Holmes. No, no, it's not Steve Lav. No, it's not Ted Cook. It's Conrad from K Plumbing Service in Lexington, from Lexington, South Carolina. He's actually schlepping up here. And uh, he's gonna make a guest appearance because you can't, you gotta, something that's that live fire steam with the steam glass piping, that's something you gotta see once in a lifetime. And I'm gonna record for all of you, that way you guys can see it. Even though there's another great uh, YouTuber out there, his description is right up there. That video with the glass piping, that's his original video, but mine's gonna be, you know, from tomorrow. It's gonna be epic. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be well, God bless, stay safe.